Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC Guy. Today on the DCC Guy, I want to go ahead and take a look at uh, a hands-on demonstration of consisting using both Digitrix and uh, the NCE PowerCab system. So, hang around for a few seconds while I get set up and we'll get started. Okay, one more time before we do get started though, I want to ask you, please, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel using this little button right here on the lower right hand side of your screen. It only takes a second to click on that button and you'll be subscribed. And that way, every time I upload a video, you'll get a notification from YouTube that it's available here on the channel. So, I want to thank all of you. We're over 950 subscribers now. So, we're on that downhill slide to 1,000. And uh, if everything keeps going the way it has, um, we're going to hit 1,000 by the end of 2019. So, thanks a lot for all of you that have sub, uh, subscribed. And uh, for the 42 or so percent of you that are watching who have not subscribed, please consider go ahead, do me a favor, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it very much. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, basic, basic consisting uh, using uh, Digitrax on the uh, Piedmont Southern layout. Basically, I have a, uh, a DT500 throttle here. It's a, a duplex wireless throttle, and I'm using it with a, a Digitrax DCS240 command station. Here we are at Monroe Yard. I've got an F3A and a B unit uh, set out here on the track. So let's go ahead and set these up as a basic consist. I already have 4189 set up here on the right hand throttle and 4364 on the left hand. So what we want to do is reprogram this one to 4189 so it will respond to the same commands. So in order to do that, so let's get into programming mode, ops mode, and I hit the programming key here uh, until ops mode comes up, PO4364. And we're going to want to get into the four-digit address. And I'm going to key in 4189 here on the keypad. And you can see I've changed the address there. And we'll hit Enter. And we should have gotten a good write. So let's exit. Hit the exit mode here. And that'll put us over here. And now, using one throttle, I can control both locomotives. And they're going to go the same direction because the normal direction of travel is the same in these locomotives. So that's as straightforward and as easy as it can be. You just simply change the addresses. So now let's go ahead and take a look at setting up universal consists. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at universal consisting using the Digitrex approach. So here we are in Monroe Yard on the Piedmont Southern. I have uh, two locomotives set up, uh, an F3A unit, number 4189, and a B unit, number 4364. So let's go ahead and create a universal consist out of those. Let me first show you that they're running independently. Um, if I take the throttle, the right-hand throttle is controlling 4189. Okay, go forward a bit. And then the uh, left-hand throttle is controlling 4364. And it's going backwards too, so let's get them going the same direction. And remember, that's important. When you set up the, the uh, consist like this, you have to have them facing forward, or you have to make the adjustments when you set up the consist. So let me show you how that's done. So basically, to set up the consist, I've got them there. Um, you use a process called consisting or emuing. And emuing means a multiple unit consist, okay? So, you know, I've got, you see here, I've got an MU key, and we know that both locomotives are both going in the same direction, so that's good. Uh, if you had locomotives that were facing in the opposite directions, uh, forward and reverse, then there is a way to, to addre address that, and I'll show you that in a minute. But for right now, we've got two locomotives. They're both facing the normal direction of travel. So let's do a simple 
consist then? I hit the MU key here for M multiple unit operation, and that sets it up. And then we're going to add the locomotives. So you have your top locomotive, 4189, and your second locomotive, 4364, and you add those together using that plus key. And you can see now that we have formed a consist. So let's see, they should both run with this one throttle button. And they do. Back them up. Okay, very straightforward operation. Now, how do you then, if you want to add additional locomotives, you just go through the process again. Add that third locomotive uh, to this throttle here in this position and hit the MU plus key again. But let's go ahead, let's break up this consist. Let's uh, take 4364 uh, out. So we'll say MU minus, and that's all there is to it. And now I'm going to change the direction. The lead locomotive moves by itself, and the other one moves by itself. Okay? So that's how easy and straightforward multiple unit uh, operation or consisting is using universal consisting with Digitrex. So let me go ahead and show you a little bit more complex situation here. So what I've done is I've set up uh, three locomotives in a row, number 11, with this being the forward direction of travel, normal direction, an 8.16.44 with this being the normal direction, and then 21.40 set up with this is the normal direction of travel. So we have to make some special uh, changes in order to allow that second locomotive to operate with the other two in a consist. So let me show you how that's done. Okay, to start, I've gone ahead and uh, I set up the, uh, uh, the um, throttle with number 11 on the right and number 2147 on the left. What we have to do in order to allow these uh, three locomotives to operate together in a consist is we have to change the normal direction or the direction of travel of 2147. So you see these little pointers underneath of the locomotive icon here? They indicate the direction of travel. So they're both set to go to the right, which is forward. Okay. Now, all I have to do is do this and hit the direction button here. And you notice that direction changed. So now we've made the accommodation to allow 11 to go forward and 2147 to go reverse, which is what we need to do. Now we're going to hit that MU key again to make up a consist and hit plus. Okay, and now we've got that consist made up. So let me go ahead and show you that it does work in the proper direction. You can see they're both going forward now. And we can back it up a little bit. Okay, now. Okay, so let's go ahead and add uh, locomotive 2140 to the consist. To do that, we just uh, activate the left hand throttle again. And we're going to hit loco and key in 2140. Okay, and hit loco. Okay, so you can see it's now been entered onto the left-hand side there. Uh, you can see by the arrow that it's pointing in the same direction as number 11, the lead loco in the consist. So all we have to do to add it now is hit MU and plus, and that's all there is. And you can see now that all three locomotives will move in the same direction. as such. And again, if we want to break it out, we just hit MU and minus. It will now operate independent from the others. So I'm going to pull the others forward, and then we'll run it forward. Now, this can be a very useful operation uh, during an operating session or on your model railroad. You could have a three unit consist of locomotives hauling a long freight and they stop at a yard somewhere and, um, or an industry and they need to switch out uh, two or three cars from the consist. So all they have to do is, all you have to do is break out 
one locomotive from the uh, from the consist and just the way I showed you use that one locomotive with its local with its own primary address to do the switching and then add it back into the consist when you're ready to hook up to the train and proceed on again. So it's a neat technique uh, that you can use to add a little bit of prototype operations to your operating sessions. So I hope you enjoy that. Okay, so let's take a look now at the power cab approach to consisting. And, you know, as far as, as basic consisting, it's the same as with the Digitrax approach. You just change the address of the second locomotive or the third or whatever, however many you want in your consist, so that it is the same as the lead locomotive. What I want to show you about the power cab, though, is its effective, universal, and uh, advanced consisting approach. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can read the, or see the display as I make the changes. So uh, hang in there a second while I make this uh, adjustment. Okay, so that way you'll be able to see the screen as I make the uh, changes. So I'm going to step to the side. Uh, so that I can see what I'm doing, and I'm going to hold this up a little bit closer to the camera so you'll be able to see what's going on. Okay, so with the, uh, with the NCE approach, uh, basically, they have a button down here for consist. You can see it says clearly consist, and you have setup, clear, add, and delete. Now, setup allows you to set up or create a consist. Um, the clear button allows you to delete a consist, Add allows you to add locomotives to a consist after it's been set up, and delete allows you to remove a locomotive from a consist. So you don't have to clear out the whole consist, you can just add and delete as you want to uh, change your operations. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at, at setting up a consist. So I hit setup, and you should be able to see it's going to ask me uh, whether I want to use an advanced or a or an old type consist. Now the old type is what uh, NCE refers to universal consisting. Um, so let's go ahead and give that a try. Um, so right in there it says, you know, your consist. And then what you need to do is, is enter the locomotive number. So let's say we're going to use uh, 3333. Okay? And then hit enter. That's your lead loco. And it's asking you the direction of this loco, forward or reversed. Now, in this case, let's say it's forward, and hit enter. And then it's going to ask you for the rear locomotive address. So let's just say the next one, 4444, and we'll hit enter. And it asks you again, is it forward or reversed? Um, all you have to do to change that, let's say you want to have it reversed, is hit the direction button right here, and it will say, reversed up here. And then you hit the enter again, and you've now created your consist. The reason for that is, with the old or universal consisting, the power cab only supports two locomotives in a consist at a time. So, that's why it says that it's now full. That is one of the limitations that you have to deal with, and why you're probably going to want to use advanced consisting as your method of choice with the NCE power cab. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll clear that one out. And you can see we want to kill, enter one, enter no, one equal yes. So we want to say yes. So it's now no longer says consist here, it says loco 3333. So we've killed that consist. So let's go ahead and set up uh, a different consist. I'm going to hit set up again. And we're going to hit enter for advanced. Okay. Now, you'll notice that it immediately comes up with an address of 127. Now, with the power cab, and with all of their uh, systems, um, you're limited, and, and this is true for all uh, advanced consisting, you're limiting to uh, 1 through 127. Except with the power cab, again, because of limited memory, you're limited for between 112 and 127. In other words, you can only have 16 uh, advanced consists. That's not that much of a limitation when you consider uh, how many locomotives you can have running at a time with all these consists. Um, 
So we're going to go ahead and they start with 127 and count backwards down to 112. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter 127 as the consist address. Okay, and now it's entering, asking me to enter the lead locomotive. So we're going to go ahead and do 3333 three, three, three again and hit enter. And again, it asks you if it's forward, and it is, so we'll hit that. Enter the rear locomotive, 4444, four, 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 and we'll hit that, and we're going to say it's reversed. So I hit the direction button, and hit enter again, and um, we can now add other locos. So let's go ahead and add 5555 five, five, five to that consist, and we'll hit enter again. And again, direction of loco, let's say forward, and you can keep doing this, you know, or just hit enter, and you've completed entering the consist and creating it. So that's how straightforward it is. Now, if you want to clear a consist, you just hit clear, and since we know it's consist 127, we hit enter, and it's killed. So it's cleared out that quickly. So that's pretty straightforward. That's all that is involved with creating consist and uh, deleting them uh, using uh, the NCE power cab. Well, that's pretty much a wrap for this uh, uh, look at uh, universal and basic consisting and a touch of advanced consisting. In the next video, which will be coming out on Monday, uh, I'll go ahead and we'll take a look at setting up advanced consist using uh, Decoder Pro. Plus, I'll show you another way that you can do it using an app that will work on your iPhones, iPads, and your Android devices. So, have a good weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday.